So let's talk about your uh, love relationship situation here. There has been a recent re-examination in a major relationship regarding work, finances, and the contribution of finances, uh, equal give and take uh, in a relationship. So I feel like you're dealing with a relationship partner who has either fallen on hard times, they might have lost a job recently, or they're not able to be an equal contributing partner in your relationship. So I have here the Hermit and the Ace of Pentacles. The Hermit basically means getting insights, looking at a situation and really opening your eyes. Is the balance in the give and take, is it fair? Are you happy with it? Because I feel like there are some things that you guys are sweeping under the rug, mainly because the connection is very, very, very strong between you and a relationship partner. You don't want to disrupt the harmony and Pisces, you guys put up with a lot and a, a lot of the times too, you know, you, you want to be a little bit more vocal and verbal and speak out. Otherwise, it's going to be very detrimental to you if these imbalances are not addressed, okay? So I feel like there is an imbalance here. Uh, somebody, you know, the, the give and take in a relationship is not very balanced or a relationship partner has fallen on hard times and you're the one kind of shouldering the responsibility of the relationship. The two people that are in the picture here, you might have an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo that you're dealing with. And no matter what, there's very, very strong, you know, uh, the, the energy is very stable. It's very vibrant between you and them. But I feel almost as if one person is bearing the brunt of the financial responsibilities and the other person is waiting on new jobs, waiting on a breakthrough, waiting on something that might not be entirely practical. I feel like a contract or something is coming in. So if they're waiting for work, they're going to be approached with work. There's going to be a contract coming in for them. If they're waiting on something a little bit loftier and more of a pipe dream, I feel like you're almost at a point where you want to tell them, hey, let's be practical. I can't do this that much longer. So let's just plan things so that you have something stable under your belt. So I feel like those financial conversations are being had, okay? On the other hand, for those who are single, I feel as if you're looking back at your past relationships and you're trying to change your strategy when it comes to dating. The Ace of Pentacles, this is an offer that might have come through from either this earth sign or a fire sign. And I feel like you're looking at this as if, wow, it's a very strong karmic soulmate type of a connection. We get along really well. We understand each other. The communication flows really well. We might have a same history and things like that. But if your relationship is not even, uh, if your relationship partner or your potential relationship partner is not even able to take care of themselves financially, they're not going to be a good relationship partner to you where the balance and the give and take is going to be reciprocal. So I want you to think a little bit more about the implications. What does it mean to be a good relationship partner? And what do you ultimately need in order for you to be happy? Because the people that are coming to you, they're good people. They might have the best intention and there might be this basis of friendship and camaraderie at the foundation of it. But are they able to take care of themselves? Are they faithful? Are they truthful? And are they emotionally mature enough to give you the type of growth inducing relationship that you're looking for? So singles, you have several options that are going to be on the table, but I feel like you might have left a relationship that was very unbalanced and you might be in danger of rushing into a new one without thinking. Um, and I feel like, you know, with this Two of Cups energy, it's a very beautiful, soft card that denotes mutual understanding, mutual values, wanting the same things out of life. But are they ready? I don't feel like the issues with you. I feel more like, are they ready? Are they going to, you know, make sacrifices in what they want in order to build something with you, something a little bit more solid? Um this person, let's talk about this person first before I full pull out clarifier cards. Uh, this is an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, not operating at their best and not financially stable. At their best, they're very um, sensual, okay? So like they, they look really good, they dress well, they smell good. There's a lot of physical attraction as well. They're very nurturing. They might be 
giving you trinkets and gifts. They, they send letters. They're very romantic. They might be the types to um, sing to you, dance with you, or even, you know, sing to you outside your window, like that type of a romantic person. In the reverse, they might not be financially stable, and they're very, very concerned about their finances. Whereas this fire sign person, this is someone who's very athletic, very protective, prone to jealousy. Um, jealousy doesn't mean love, okay? Let's get that straight. Jealousy, possessiveness, these are toxic energies and I do feel this is somebody who's a little bit more on the, you know, it's like the alpha male, alpha female, I want attention on me. Um, I don't want you to, you know, um, socialize with other men or other women. Uh, you belong to me. At their best, they're very uh, fun to be with and they're very protective and you feel very safe in their presence. But at their worst, there's a lot of jealousy so be careful about that okay so you really want to reassess singles whether or not this is somebody that is um that makes the cut okay so i'm going to pull out two cards to clarify here the two of cups okay you got out of a toxic relationship here pisces which is really good for you this is a relationship where you might have been controlled by another person. And um, I'm inclined to say one sign that indicates to me that somebody is not universally aligned with your energy is when you're with them. And for whatever reason, you guys can never build wealth together. That's one sign that the relationship is not right for you. It has nothing to do with the other person or you per se, but just energetically. When the two of you get together, there isn't a lot of prosperity. That's a sure sign that the relationship might not be destined for you. Okay, so don't cling on to it if that's the case. I feel like something similar happened in the past where you worked and worked and the other person worked and worked as well. But between the two of you, there's no financial solidity like there's no financial uh, growth with the two of you. And we also have here the star, which basically means you're with somebody or you have done a lot of healing on yourself. You're capable and independent and you're at a point where you feel really good and you don't want to enter into another toxic relationship. Many of you, I feel like you you have suitors coming in, but... They're saying, listen to your higher voice and your higher intuition and find somebody that really inspires you. Find somebody that really, you know, um, have the same value so that you guys can build the same things, okay? Rather than somebody that makes promises and then at the last minute, nothing comes to fruition with that relationship, all right? So you have some good cards here, overcoming past emotional hangups as well as past toxic relationships so that you are at this point here where you're a lot more discerning and you're, you have a lot more insights about what you need to be happy. Um, other areas of your life, I have a very big pregnancy energy here, the Empress. The Empress is about birth, rejuvenation, and this is a card about release. So some of you might be at the tail end, third trimester, or something in your pregnancy cycle, and there's going to be a family reunion here. So this can indicate like a baby being born. Um, for those of you who are not pregnant but are dealing with people in your family that are pregnant, I definitely feel, you know, this is the week where there's a major breakthrough and there is, it's like the catalyst for family members to come together to celebrate this pregnancy or to celebrate even the birth and the revival or the rejuvenation of something uh, family oriented. Um, in the work front with the Empress energy, the Empress is somebody who is um, very capable. It's somebody who kind of works behind the scenes. So I feel like even if you were dealing with a lot of clients, you're still somewhat distant. So you could be talking to a lot of clients over the phone, sending a lot of emails, or, you know, um, you're doing work where you're not very visible. You're communicating with them from afar, so they might not know what you look like. They might be familiar with your work without knowing what you'd look like. And because of that, I feel like it gives you that sense of anonymity. It gives you that sense of, um, and I feel like Pisces people, you guys are very sensitive. So when you have a lot of one-on-one um, -on -one FaceTime with another person, 
uh, you read their body language and you might you might read too much into their body language and it might make you feel insecure about the work that you do but this is a card to me that indicates a certain distance between you and other people that you're working with and so they see you as someone who's very capable he or she gets their work done you never have to worry about her they rarely make mistakes and so because you're showing up here as the empress in your field in your area of work you might might not feel like the work itself is very challenging so you might be thinking about releasing it and seeking other opportunities many of you might have put yourself out there and you're waiting for some feedback and there's going to be contact and communication um the judgment card with this eight of swords this is kind of like contact communication messages information coming through if you are doing some type of tests aptitude tests or even interviews and things like that make sure you do a lot of preliminary rehearsals for the interview prior to going to it so don't go into it thinking oh i'm already at the top of my field i can wing it i feel like you need a refresher course because they're going to ask you things that are very unexpected okay and if you are not able to bring your a game they have other candidates that they're going to immediately look at so they might quickly rule you out so just be careful about that okay um, work contracts I feel is coming into the picture as well and they're saying shifting into uh, new positions new responsibilities or a new job that you might not have a firm footing in but you're gonna find your way so intuitively you have very strong psychic energy here it's gonna serve you well to rely on your intuition and to even in situations where you might not know the answer sitting kind of sitting down grounding yourself and try to walk through the problem you're going to be able to get a lot of spiritual energy and a lot of psychic energy to help you problem solve in the work front as well okay great energy for you guys i'm really happy to see this and i'm happy to see you happy and secure and just feeling really good in your own skin okay so take care of yourself i'll talk to you guys soon bye bye